Bonjour, it's Anne. So, welcome back. And uh, today I'm going to talk about the uh, second part of the um, free shop review for uh, Blazing Vault, which is an, an Etsy shop. And um, I'm going to talk mostly about the general feel of the shop, okay? So, first things first, um, you might know that yesterday, so that's June 25, 2019, um, Etsy sent uh, an email to all sellers to, uh, maybe also to all customers, I don't know, but I received it as a seller, uh, to warn that they updated their privacy policy in terms of use. And this is what here is uh, written at the top of the page shop. And so if you haven't seen it, you can just go and check it out. Um, the only thing that's really of note, uh, for me at least, concerns um, ads. But it's not really very clear yet uh, what, uh, what the changes exactly are. Um, Okay, th this is, I thought the link would, uh, would send to the email content to the announcement and apparently it's sending to the terms of use. So I'm not going to go into this in details, but check your, uh, sorry, check your um, inbox, check your email and go read it um, so that you know uh, what Etsy uh, has been doing, okay, that you're not taken by surprise. That, any given moment. Okay, so back to Blazing Vault. Uh, I talked a little bit about the branding yesterday. Sorry, it's very hot in Switzerland now, so I have to drink from <laughs> time to time. We're having a, a heat wave, a serious heat wave. And um, so this shop sells a variety of items. And you can see here in the categories, we have wall decals, we have window and laptop decals, we have coasters mugs, apparel, uh, phone cases, backpacks, leggings, pillows, and hats, okay? But there is obviously uh, a common theme, which is the design, of course. And um, the first thing I want to um, look at here is uh, the items that have sold recently. Okay, so um, maybe uh, at the moment, this is active. So you, uh, you can see here, if I click on the number of sales that the shop has had, I can access to which items uh, have been sold. And I can see here that um, a lot are either as are one of these two designs here and also a lot of pillows here. Okay, so um, it seems that it's uh, the same designs which sell over and over again and this is not surprising because it's how etsy works when they know something sell sells they in your shop they will show it more to uh, your customers okay so it will sell more so it's kind of a virtuous cycle okay uh, the one thing um, that uh, the shop owner might want to be careful uh, of is that if people can access uh, the sold items here, then it means competitors can see what's selling and can adapt their own shops for that. And so many sellers, me included, uh, choose to disable here this feature that you can actually access which items have sold or not, okay? And this is a setting in your shop. So um, uh, let me try and figure out where it is in my shop. Okay, so I have to go to my own dashboard. And sorry, it's taking a little time. I think it is uh, in settings, but they've been moving things around quite a lot. So um, let me see. I'll, I'll try the options first. Um, location, no woman, Alexa. Okay, so rearrange custom order, order gift, automatic listings, sold listings. Yes, so it's in the settings here, uh, menu, and in the, so I'll do it again, settings here, 
and options here and then under the first options tab you go to the bottom almost the bottom and you have sold listings want shoppers to be able to see these so you can select sure or no okay uh, it's not something that's mandatory one way or another it's just uh, personal preference okay so let's go back to blazing vault and the first thing that uh, uh, i can see here is that uh, the design uh, obviously links everything together but still there are lots of very different products here and um, it is uh, a fact in all uh, marketing classes and marketing courses and um, many well everything I've read or uh, been taught about this is that uh, the more a niche you are and the better you perform and um, there is a, a book which is called the 22 uh, immutable laws of marketing which we might want to uh, take a look at because it's uh, it's one of the classics of marketing and in there uh, one of the 22 immutable laws uh, is that uh, if you try to uh, expand too much you will fail okay uh, because it's more difficult to market a large variety of products and your message is mo it's more difficult to get a message across a simple message and customers need a simple message to buy so I know that it's easy now to offer a wide uh, selection of very different products such, such as wall decals and, and, and hats for example uh, but is it advisable? It, it's, it's a question that needs debating and, and of course you have to do that um, for yourself and decide where you want to go. But be aware that if you diversify too much, it might hurt your business. So uh, maybe it might be uh, easier to actually split those into different shops. Maybe, I'm not saying it's always the case, but it's, it's uh, usually where marketing coaches uh, uh, point okay and so um, it, uh, this is of course data I can't access so but it might be interesting uh, for Marcos to check the stats and see if uh, some items uh, are not being seen at all and whether it's uh, it's good to still have them there of course I agree that the style is really what's uniting everything and so you, you have to think about that but that's just my my two cents okay about that then uh, yesterday I said that there wasn't an about section here and there was almost nothing about the process and things so I've been trying to go through some of the listings and see what kind of information is provided okay so um, let's go here because this is one okay oh, oh, sorry I was I was browsing these earlier and so this is the first picture I think no this one is the first picture okay and so uh, here is a design uh, which is so it's in the apparel category of course and it's leggings printed with this beautiful uh, speaker cherry redwood uh, design okay and this is uh, a product that Marcos already ha um, uh, ha uses in, in his other shop where it was very clear that uh, they were um, printed by a partner or an external partner printing partner which is perfectly okay as long as you're, you're the, the designer and it's clear for your customers what you make yourself and what you outsource because uh, you know sometimes it's just impossible to do everything yourself even if you're an in independent designer and um, this is missing in this shop and this information is missing so it's present in some of the uh, article descriptions but uh, here for example the uh, description is very short very terse and I don't see that uh, there I don't see who produces it how it's produced there is all the technical information you need when you're going to buy something what, what fabric it is, it is what kind of waistband it, there is and things like that but um, What's missing here uh, is the thing that I liked so much in the other uh, in Marcos uh, other shop, which was 
the the branding in the descriptions and and which is the little uh, psychological uh, nudge that you give to the customers so that they get drawn into your personal story and you explain to them why uh, what what the your products uh, will do for you okay so let me just uh, go back to um the other shop so that I can show you what I mean if you haven't seen that video and that was a native roar on Etsy so that's his other shop and uh, okay let's visit the shop and uh, okay let's go here because it's the so if I go to the description here uh, this is a very strong uh, statement okay and it's um, it's aimed at the reader and it clearly and very uh, quickly tells them what the benefit for them is and in that case it's about a social status okay and uh, this i feel is missing from the other uh, shop okay sorry let me i have a, a very okay it's this one um, you've got to get these hot leggings now. This, this is not enough because why these? Why specifically this design? Why yours? What does it, what does it bring to your customers? Okay, and this is something. This is a message that the message that you have to work on for this shop, because uh, I haven't found it in most of the um, of the uh, items I looked at from this shop. Then there is something that I was puzzled about. And if you go through the pictures here, you will see that after the leggings, you have here a bra and there is uh, um, a note here that you can match with sports bra. But I wasn't able to find any link to where the sports bras are offered. And if you go to the menu here, you only have options for sizing. So I assume it's just the leggings. And the quantity and there is no link in the description either okay so uh, it's unclear to me uh, it's puzzling and what puzzles customers isn't good if, if a customer is puzzled or is asking uh, them or they are asking themselves question they're not going to buy so uh, and especially if they think oh yeah that would be a good idea i want to i want to find this bra and they go back to the the shop and they can't find it so let's see uh, if I type, yeah, so we have no bras offered here, okay? Or if they if there are, but I, I already looked in the, into the apparel um, uh, section earlier, I couldn't find it. And so um, you might want to hide those pictures until the bras are ready if they're if they are coming, okay? Because this is going to confuse customers, and as I said, confused customers don't buy. And so make sure that everything you do is really, um, is really easy for them. Okay. Uh, okay. So I was looking at a couple of other, um, of other items here. We have, um, a shirt. Okay. We have a, a selection of colors, selection of sizes. Um, these here are men's sizes and it might be a good thing to put that in the title here so that people know already that it's men's sizes okay even though maybe the design would work mostly for men but i don't know i'm a, a musician also and uh, so it might appeal to me as a, as a, as a girl so um, i would just perhaps here uh, add a word uh, that it's a, for a man and if you have a, a, a design for a woman with the same a shirt for a woman with the same design then I would link it in the description here okay so once again we have a description of the features here of the product but not of what they are going to do for the customer and this is again it's missing in, in uh, almost all the uh, well in all the the uh, items in this shop that I was able to look at and um, here you have the mention that this item is printed by a third party printer, which is good. I would like to see that in all the uh, items, whether where it's the case, of course. And uh, I was looking also 
uh, at a mug earlier. So where is it now? Oh, here. And here you we have the mention here that uh, all mugs are designed and printed in our studio. So in that case, it's clear, which is good. Uh, but in some of the of the uh, our items, it's missing. Okay. And for me, that's something uh, important because you need to be uh, open with your customers. You need to build trust with them. And this kind of things builds trust. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I'm just looking because there was something somewhere which caught my eye. There was a typo and I don't remember which item it was in. Um, no, that's not it here so audio waves it might be this one yes okay here at the i was reading uh, the description here of uh, for the wall decals and okay here we have a, li a, a little bit more of the branding i think is important of the why why buy okay and uh it's probably not um um uh uh, by chance that this is one of the items that are most sold in this shop. Uh, the thing that caught my eye here is that, uh, well, first, I would like to know uh, if they're uh, home printed or if they're printed outside. And uh, here, this sentence, uh, the, there's a typo in it because it says do instead of you, okay? And uh, I mean, there's, there are a couple of typos. Some decals are come in multiple pieces, so uh, you might want to fix that sentence because it doesn't make any sense. Um, apart from that, there is mostly all the information I would expect from um, decals, but there's only one picture here. I, you might want to um, have a couple more pictures, maybe to see how the decals come before they're applied to the wall. What they look like when they are, when they when they receive, or maybe you can uh, uh, use more pictures with different sizes of decals, also just to give uh, the buyer an idea of uh, what this the dimensions are in uh, with regard to the scale. I, for example, I don't know if this one here in the free picture um, is the light larger one or the smaller one. Okay, I would assume it's a large size, but. Uh, uh, there's nothing really to give me a sense of scale and so I probably wouldn't buy art because if I have to uh, message the seller then um, I only do this if this is really something I absolutely need and cannot find somewhere else if it's just impulse buying then I won't take the time to message the seller and most people won't so make sure that all the information that you uh, want the people to uh, have is already in there. So every time you, that, that's a tip that's useful. Every time you have a customer email you with a question about your items, uh, whether it is because they haven't, sorry, they haven't read everything or whether it is because just the information wasn't there because you didn't think someone would want to know that, uh, it's a good time to reevaluate whether you can uh, better the experience of your customers by in incorporating this information uh, in the information you provide by default. And uh, when I say customers don't read, um, here they don't really have um, uh, an option because they have to select a size, but they don't know which size this is, okay? And um, since they don't read, usually they won't all necessarily go through your description and so if you have any very important things to uh, uh, tell them, then put it in the pictures, okay? Uh, put the sizes in the pictures. I'll go back to my shop, uh, okay, here. And uh, let's go to, uh, I think these. Okay, sorry, it takes a little time to load today. It's a bit slow. Okay, and okay, I have all the pictures here, and I have two pictures, uh, one with uh, regards here to a hand, which gives uh, uh, a sense of scale, but I also have in the pictures uh, a picture with the bit size, because many people either won't take the time to go through the description or don't even know how to access it. 
Uh, now, on a computer, it seems obvious, but when you're looking at Etsy uh, from a, a cell phone, it's not that obvious. Uh, the descriptions are sometimes not very visible. There's a, a little plus with the click more for details, but many people don't see it. And so if you receive a message for, um, from someone asking you what the size is where, uh, when it's already in the description very clearly, then very often it's someone on a phone who doesn't know how to access the description, okay? So don't just uh, think that people are uh, as tech savvy as we are because we obviously sell on the internet, so we spend a lot of time uh, trying to figure out how it works, okay? But your customers are not necessarily this, and uh, especially if they're um, not very young, right? which is the case for uh, my target my target market for beads it's uh it's uh people over 45 okay and they don't all uh, they're not all very familiar with how with how the internet works okay so i'm not saying it's the case for blazing vault but uh you'd better be safe by than sorry because everything that makes the customer's experience easier will mean that it will be easier for them to buy without uh, uh, second guessing themselves okay so the less uh, they have to think about, the better for you. Okay, and so um, I've been talking for about 20 minutes already, so uh, a little more than that, so I'll stop there. I just want to make you aware uh, that um, the class I was talking about yesterday has opened, and I'll put a link uh, below this video so that you, sorry, you know where to look. So what's this course about? Um, here's what I wrote today on my uh, Facebook about it. So for me, it is the best. And I say that uh, I, I've taken many uh, marketing classes, many um, uh, how to sell uh, online classes, and this is the one you mustn't miss, really. Uh, especially if you sell on Etsy, it's really directed uh, towards Etsy. Although uh, she does give, um, uh, also a, a little bit of information about other platforms, but she really specializes in Etsy. And as I said earlier, uh, specializing is a good thing because she really knows Etsy in depth. And uh, I, I just want to show you, so this is Cara Bunting. If you're not following her, well, you're missing something really. I enrolled in her course in October. Just want to show you here a little peek of what my stats look like. So of course I've, I've hidden the numbers, uh, the actual numbers here, but this is my sales uh, this year compared to last year. So as you can see, I have uh, more than 120% more visits and uh, I've doubled my revenue, okay, over the first uh, six months of this year. That's only in one of my two shops, okay, and the other is the same. So, um, what I like about this course, what I really like is first her. Uh, Kara is a person who thinks like me. She's, uh, I would say, uh, she takes a lot of pain to understand things and she takes even more pain to make sure that you understand them also. So it's not just about giving you recipes to sell things because this is not how it works, okay? Uh, how it works is that you have to do some of the work yourself, of course, because there is a lot of research to be done, especially in the SEO part. And SEO is search engine optimization, if you don't know what it is. And it uh, it is how your uh, shop is found on Etsy. Um, but she explains to you how it works and she will also do something which is very uh, important at the moment i think is to um, make you understand that it is not a big deal if it keeps changing things and she uh, as as as, uh, as the changes come she will explain to you uh, how to deal with them, okay? What they mean and how to deal with them and how the Etsy systems work, system works, sorry. And so how you can take advantage of it and how you can direct the traffic to your own shop, okay? And, and seriously, this is the best course I've ever taken, okay? I am an affiliate for this course, I've said it already, uh, but I wouldn't promote something I don't believe in. There are some courses I, I took that I don't promote uh, because I don't think they were worth it. This course is absolutely 100% worth it. 
and anyway it has a 30 days money back guarantee so uh, if you purchase it and you're not convinced and uh, within 30 days then you can return the money but frankly uh, having Kara do all the work about understanding the system for you and you just have to follow what she says then this is really valuable i would pay uh, a lot of money for that well i have paid some but i i think i would pay a lot more now that i actually know what is in this course and also she it is really up to date she adds videos uh, at the moment almost on a daily basis to the course so the scope of the course expands daily uh, it was initially only about seo now it's about uh, how to be visible on etsy seo is still the central part of it but how to be visible on etsy uh, in general, okay, and okay, and as I said, how to deal with all the changes and why they're not a, uh, a problem, really, because there's so much negativity in the Etsy forums about those changes that it's uh, sometimes it's a little bit a little bit frightening for struggling sellers. Okay, so um, this is the link. If you click on it, you'll come to this page. Um, if it loads, it loads. Yes, it loads. Okay, the course is called eShop Success. It's only open for enrollment until July 5, so be quick about it. And you can go through the, uh, the whole thing here. But know that this is someone I trust, and she taught me a lot of what, I'm, uh, what I know about the topic. So, um, I hope uh, you've enjoyed uh, today's little run through and uh, don't forget to register before you go and so that you know when i post new videos and i'll see you later bye bye